name is Irene and this video is going to be a makeup challenge. I decided to do something a little bit different today and I saw this challenge on Nikki Tutorials YouTube channel and I was like, let me try it. So I'm not too sure how it's going to turn out but let's just see what happens. As you've seen by the title, this is called the One Dip Challenge and basically how it's going to work is that whatever product I use, I have to take just one dip of it. So if it's a pump applicator type of product, then I'll have to take one pump of it. And in terms of like the setting spray, I'll just have to take one spray. <laughs> oh my God. I don't know how I'm going to do this, but let's just see what happens. Before we continue with this video, please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and that you like, comment and share. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to start with is our eyebrows. I've had my brows set like this the whole day already, so I don't have to go in with any more of the gel. But I need to go in with concealer. And I'm not sure whether the one dip means I use the... <laughs> I don't know. Whether I use one dip for like setting my eyes and then I must now use that same dip to highlight my face but I'm gonna take it as one dip to set eyes and then one dip to set my face if it's wrong I'm sorry but let's, let's just carry on with the video so I'm just going to pull it out and that is what I can use usually I would like take some of the product off but I can't right now While I still have this one dip here, I'm going to take some of this concealer and just color correct, but like not really color correct. I just want to cover up these spots. This is the little beauty spot I was talking about, the natural one. <laughs> this challenge, I've seen quite a few people do it and I was like, you know what, let me try. It's something different. There's a lot of different things going on in this this video i'm really trying to embrace my crown that looks good i guess okay so that is my concealer blended out i'm not going to take one dip of this revolution bake and blot press powder in the shade beige and a hit pan i'm just going to <laughs> one dip okay close and then set my eyelids like this. Oh my gosh, this is going to be something. My concealer is now set. I can now go in with my eyeshadow. I'm going to be using, as usual, the Morphe X James Charles eyeshadow palette. And I'm going to be using the four shades um, wig. T Boutique and Benny. These are all like dark colors. I think they're like for a smoky eye. So these four here. I'm going to dip into this shade. This is the shade T. And I'm just going to dip into it once. <laughs> like that. And use this on my outer corners. The shades are all very pigmented. So Hopefully it turns out well. And this is going to be my transition. What, I said outer corner, I'm lying. I mean my transition shade. So I'm just going to... So the, I'm using this the shade T as my transition shade and I'm just blending that out. I'm gonna take a clean brush and I'm gonna go into this shade. I think that's the shade Boutique. And I'm also just going to take one dip into it. And I'm just going to add this and mix it with the shade T, which is in my crease. So like that. <laughs> I don't know, man. Then I'm going to go in with the shade, um, what's it called, Benny? With the shade Benny, which is this, um, sorry, which is this dark um, color here. 
and this is for my outer corners so i'm just going to go like this and like this and i'm just going to blend this out here so this is like a, a smoky eye kind of look but i'm gonna have a shimmer on um on my eyelids I'm now going to add the shimmer onto my eyelids and I'm going to take some eyeshadow primer. I'm going to take the smallest amount and put it on my finger like this and then just spread that amount on my eyelids. Okay, I'm now going to go in with the shimmer shade which is called Wig. I don't know how this is going to um, work out. So what I'm going to do is that I'm Is this cheating if I do that though? I'm going to take one pump of the setting spray and um, <laughs> spray it on my brush to try and get as much of the shimmer shade on. I don't know if that's cheating though. So let me not um use it just in case it is cheating because i actually am trying to challenge myself so i'm going to take this shimmer shade and it's literally one <laughs> one dip look how much fallout is coming out i'm just going to put some it's actually spread out quite a bit i'm very impressed <laughs> Okay, so that is, oh, this is quite pretty. So that is that shade um, on. I'm now going to go back in with this brush that I used to add the shade, um, was it Benny? Yeah, I used it to add the shade Benny and I haven't taken any product. I'm just going to use the excess that's on the brush and just blend out the outer corners. Okay, those are the eyes done. At this point, I'll put on my lashes and put on mascara and everything. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to do that last instead of now. I'm now going to prime my face and I'm going to be using my NYX, the marshmallow primer. And I'm just going to take one pump of this and I'm going to do that. That kit. It's gone, it's gone back in. Ah. Anyways. Always make sure that you prime underneath your eyes so that when you put on your concealer it doesn't crease. So for foundation I'm using the Huda Beauty Full Filter Luminous Matte Full Coverage Liquid Foundation in the shade Toffee which is 420G and I mentioned this before the G stands for golden so golden undertone and I'm going to take one pump of it. I'm going to take a brush and apply it on with a brush just so that I can spread it out evenly. This foundation is um it's very matte, so even when applying it, you can already tell that it is a matte foundation. And um please don't stress about the color. <laughs> This foundation oxidizes like a lot. I'm going to use a beauty blender. This one is damp. And I'm just going to blend that into my skin. I'm now going to conceal my face and I'm taking one dip of um, the Too Faced Bone This Way Concealer in the shade Cookie. And I'm just going to spread that out. Now I'm going to contour my face. This is going to be very tricky because my contour looks like this. So <laughs> I have a brush here and I'm just going to take one dip of this and just spread it out on my face. Oh my God, I don't know how. Okay, that's the contour there. Thank you.
Okay, I managed to spread it out evenly, although I would have taken much more product. Um, <laughs> anyways, um, then for blush, I'm using my Fenty Beauty Cheeks Out Freestyle Blush in the shade Daiquiri Dip. And I'm just going to take one dip as well, like that. Ah! Oh my gosh! Oh no, 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 no. This is literally nothing. <clears throat> to blend out my contour, I'm going to be using this um, brush. My hair, I'm really not used to like seeing myself <laughs> with my natural hair out like this i feel like i look like a pineapple <laughs> but anyways um that's that and then i'm not going to blend out my um my concealer i'm using the same beauty blender that i used to add on my foundation i'm just turning it around so that i can use the cleaner side My concealer is now blended out, so I'm now going to set my face and I literally have to take one dip of my setting powder with this um, beauty blender. I'm scared! <laughs> okay, so this is my setting powder. I'm now going to take just one big dip, okay? So that's how much product I've picked up. Now I'm going to set... So what I'm going to do is that because contour isn't supposed to be that hectic on your nose, I'm just going to take one of the eyeshadow brushes that I used and use the excess product on that brush to like just give my nose a little bit of a definition. Let me go in with the other brush. <laughs> there we go. This one is giving me more product. And I'm just gonna blend it in with this brush. And then now I'm going to bronze. And this isn't a problem because this bronze is very pigmented, so even just one dip will go very far on my face. So the the there and there. And just blend that out. I'm not going to set my face. So let us hope for the best here. And ciao. Okay, so it's time for lashes now and mascara. So I'm gonna go in with the um, mascara and one dip. Mm, I can't put any of it back in. Okay, so I added in my Beauty Marks off camera. Um, I don't know, I forgot, it wasn't filming. <laughs> but um, I'm not gonna go ahead and put on my lashes. I'm not gonna put on a full strip of lashes because that's gonna take me a lot of um, glue use. So what I'm gonna do is go, I'm gonna put um, half a lash on the ends of my lashes and i'm just gonna take one dip into this glue this glue is also very finished so i have to be <laughs> very careful how much i use it but i'm gonna put the glue on so that's all and then i'm gonna put on my lashes Okay, those are the lashes on. I think they're quite cute. I'm very into this, like just putting the lashes on at the ends of my eyes because it feels so much lighter and it's so much quicker and it's just so cute. <laughs> but I'm gonna do my lips now. I'm just going to take my Chardol Champagne Lip Gloss in the shade Embrace and I'm just gonna take one dip of it <laughs> like that 
and then just spread it on my lips the easiest way to do this is if you take one side and do it on your bottom lip and then turn it around and then use the other side for your top lip one thing about me i'm a lip gloss addict i like my lips to be glossy 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 but anyways i am done this is the final look i hope you guys enjoyed this challenge and found it you know entertaining also very different because your girl has her natural hair out <laughs> So I'm gonna try and do more videos with my hair like this because I like a little bit of diversity in terms of like my hairstyles in my YouTube videos and like my Instagram tutorials. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on all the amazing content that is still to come. And also please don't forget to like, comment and share this video to who you might think will enjoy it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Also, please leave a comment down below of any recommendations, ideas or whatever of what type of content that you guys would like to see more makeup challenges all that good stuff just leave it down in the comment section and i will work with what you guys give me but yeah i will see you guys in my next video bye